guys, welcome back. Welcome back. To another episode. This episode is gonna be a little different than the other ones because today we are gonna get our COVID-19 test. And the reason why we're doing this, not for fun, it's because we've been kind of going through it the past week. Yeah, like uh, Vanessa said, we're gonna get our COVID test. This is definitely my first. Uh, she got tested. I wasn't feeling well about like two months ago and then I got tested and it was negative, thank God. Jordan that never gets sick recently got really, really sick with flu-like sy symptoms. Yeah, so I never get sick. And Thursday night, I woke up like at 2 a.m. Um, and just sweating and chills. I was like, oh, you know, maybe I'm just hot. Maybe the house is just hot. And then by 7 a.m., I was in so much pain. My head was throbbing. I had full-on chills, and then I would go through a wave where I was just super hot and then cold again and have goosebumps. I, I needed to, felt like I needed to throw up and it was really nauseous. It's been pretty scary not knowing what's wrong, um, if we, we should be in contact with anybody. So we've definitely been just at home quarantining. We didn't feel well enough to go get tested at that moment, but um, so we waited the first day that we actually feel a little bit better and we decided to go get a COVID-19 test to make sure to keep everybody safe. So let's see how it goes. We are, I'm gonna put everything, the information, because we're, um, we're doing it for free. Oh, so okay. we'll put all that in our bio, so you guys, if you guys want to get tested for free, and you can't go, hold on. Hi, how many appointments do you have? Two. Okay, may I see both? Yes. Yes. There's a drive through testing at the Dodger Stadium. And we'll put like the info in our bio so you guys can see that you can do free testing. You don't have to go through insurance or anything that will not bill you. Um, and you know, why not just do it to just know exactly what's going on. I don't want people to think either that like in the first week, you know, you feel, you feel fine. I still have, you know, massive headaches. It still goes in waves. Last night she was feeling bad again. Supposed to, I mean, it's something so new and people are, people are still like figuring out what it is, but supposedly it keeps coming back. Like you feel better and it comes back. So that's why we started getting really worried about it. How are you doing? Hey, how many tests do we have today? Two. Two? Yeah. Can we put that down in a way? Oh, thank you. All right, I got, I'll start your test. Gotcha. Thank you. All right, so we got our little test kits. Two different ones. We are about to pull up to where, do they do it for us or do we have to do it? I think uh, they do I it. No idea. So these are the little packets that they gave you, little tubes, little swab, all that. So let's see how it goes, guys. They were telling us not to film when he was talking for some reason. So we're gonna film as much as possible, just you guys to see exactly the process of it and how easy it can be. Honestly, like we haven't really waited in the line at all. Hopefully, we don't have to wait even longer. But what we did is we kind of went on the site, yeah, filled out our information, our symptoms, and then you can kind of pick time slots to show up in. And right. they have a lot available, like the same day. And they'll tell you how many, you know, are available in that time slot. So if you, you know, want a quicker process, you obviously go to the time slot that has more available. Can you take your test already? No. I, so okay, no worries. You're going to take your test right here in line, okay? Oh, so we have to do it ourselves? Yes, of course. Uh, so um, if you could just put up your window to an, about an inch, I can direct you guys, okay? Okay. So um, you're going to make this one more hand. Sorry about that. Sorry? Thank you. So right now on this moment, you both are about to cough really hard as possible. It's like a mask three times, okay? Inside our mask? Yeah, right Cough. Now. So give me a good <coughs> <hard time. coughs> Open up your packet, and you're going to take out that Q-tip and the tube. You're going to make sure you open up your Q-tip, and you're going to start cleaning out your teeth. Your this one? Teeth. Yes, thank you. Your teeth, your teeth, your gum, your tongue, and the bottom of your tongue, okay? You're gonna try to get as much saliva as possible. You do it for about 20 to 30 seconds. This one, right? Uh huh. 20, 20 to 30 seconds, just swabbing everything, right? Yeah, just go all in your mouth. <clears throat> Once you're done swabbing your mouth and you feel you got enough saliva on it, 
you can go ahead and open up your tube and you're going to put it inside and break off that Q-tip to make sure it fits inside, okay? And from that point, you just close it up, you'll go ahead and top it back in the bag and you're going to make sure you squeeze out the air and zip it tight. Please don't write on your chest because uh, it's already scanned through that barcode so every time they scan it, it shows your information, okay? So put it in here and break it off. You'll get your results within two or three days, sometimes even a day. Okay. Test up. So you just put it in and you break it. Thank you. Thank you. That was easy. Thank you so much. We didn't even have to do it in our nasal cavity. We literally just swabbed um, our mouth, put it in this little tube, and now we're going to hand it over. Okay, we're done. That's a little test right here. I'm ready to go. Hope for the best. Did you give it to her, Ben? Huh? Oh, I said this. I thought I gave it to her. Do you want to give this to you or? Oh. Just throw it in the blue bin. Yeah. Make sure it's sealed. <coughs> we did it. And did it. We're going to update you guys on the results. We're supposed to get it within the next few days, but it's usually like 24 hours. And, um, yeah. So, let's see. But we recommend for everybody to do it to be safe, to have a peace of mind. I do want to say that, you know, being the type of person I am, you obviously played in the NFL, like I'm, I'm an athletic guy. I've, I've been through a lot, I've been through a lot of injuries and this is honestly the worst few days I've felt uh, through anything. Yeah. Um, I, I really struggled through it. I, I didn't think I would when it came out. I was like, oh, I'm young. I still took it serious and I still, you know, wore my mask. I definitely, you know, feel for all the people that have gone through this because it, it was a struggle and I could just imagine, you know, yeah. how I'd feel if I was just getting taken down by something like this. Um, so I, I do ask that, you know, we all just kind of take it serious and kind of do the best we can to, to minimize the, the spread the spread and the, and the collateral wanna, damage we all want to just get back to our normal lives like our gyms aren't open yet like la is definitely still shut down and we, we can't really do much um especially right now that we've literally just been quarantining ourselves and we will quarantine ourselves until we get the results even with our immune system being down right now we're, we should definitely stay at home because even if it comes out negative like it, it will be so easy for us to catch it and spread it so just being super super careful well i hope you all enjoyed it um it was definitely an adventure definitely that something we knew nothing about so and it definitely wasn't uh what we expected but hopefully the results come back and we, we are healthy and if not you know we'll stay quarantined and you know we'll keep continuing taking this serious yeah so we're just luck and we will show you guys the results as soon as we receive them so we just like Bye guys.